When Speaker Nancy Pelosi established the Select Committee on Energy Independence and Global Warming, she named Massachusetts Congressman Ed Markey chairman. It was a sign to the world that the New Direction Congress was serious about solving the climate crisis. To truly understand global warming, you have to look at the faces and the places impacted by the climate crisis today. It's about massive ice sheets melting into the ocean, and it's the face of a child displaced by extreme drought and climate-induced conflict. It's about families making their homes and schools energy efficient because a billion people in India need drinking water from a glacier that is vanishing. It's about pushing big oil companies to increase investment in renewable energy now because a village in Alaska is falling into the sea today. Global warming is about global markets and creating the jobs of tomorrow. It's also about the health of children and elderly around the planet. It truly is an issue of war and peace. The Select Committee has held over 30 hearings featuring scientists, generals, economists, and a host of experts. But it was the voice of tomorrow from the youth of today that rang the loudest. The world's youth are the impact generation, the generation that will make an impact in the solutions to our climate and energy challenges or be impacted by the inaction of our world leaders. Congress witnessed this cry of youth firsthand, a cry to stir your heart. 80 by 50, 80 by 50, 80 by 50, 80 by 50. And a cry to break it. It's not just that we're losing our food, it's losing our homes and because we are spiritually connected and emotionally and physically connected to our homes and there are so many so many communities that are in trouble it's an emergency we need to take action now in november chairman markey asked power shift to stand with him in the climate fight 